Hey, so we're back here with Willie after his performance. That was wonderful. Thank you so much. So we're going to talk about some of Willie's influences. Willie, who are some of your biggest influences as a musician? I got to cross that Well, first off is uh, the guy who started it off for me. His name's Brian Willie McTell. That's him. Cool. He was famous for playing his 12-string guitar. You yeah, can see that, that looks like a lot of Six pegs, pegs here, six mm -hmm. pegs there. He was an amazing guitar player and, and one of my favorite singers. And I, bas I just tried to sing like him when I was first learning nice. how to play. Cool. Around what time was he playing? He was recorded mostly in the 20s, 30s, and 40s. He was actually really smart because he would record with different record companies under different pseudonyms. Oh. And in that way, he could just record. He, I think, he recorded hundreds of tracks. <laughs> Next up is Charlie Patton, the king of the Delta blues. Nice. He was a great entertainer. Looks like he's utilizing a slide. Yeah, he used to actually. Um, he's holding the guitar strangely like that mm -hmm. in his lap. He used to play it like that. So he played a lot of slide stuff. He was like in his 30s and the 1920s, so he was one of the older guys. And they didn't just play blues, they played all kinds of rags and, I don't know, cool. just folk songs. And, and uh, But they're mainly known for playing blues these days, just because that's what became popular with, like, the Rolling Stones and right. Led Zeppelin and all those guys. How did you come across Charlie Patton's music? After I heard Blind Lynn McTell, I started looking uh, and listening to more of those old recordings you know yeah and he just stood out to me his originality and his skill level on guitar he's an amazing guitar player cool. one, one of the greatest what's the next ingredient in willie soup <laughs> next up <laughs> is the king of country music Whoa. hank williams <laughs> wow he has a big head um it's very clean he clean uh, lines Another one of my favorite <laughs> singers, and I tried to sing like him for a long time, uh, <laughs> as I'm sure thousands of people have, yeah. and thousands of people will. Will continue to, yeah. But the thing I mostly uh, admire about him, I think, is his songwriting. He wrote hundreds of songs. What's your favorite Hank Williams tune? Oh, God. Ramblin' Man is a great song. Uh, he also did um, Your Cheatin' Heart. Cold, cold heart. Uh, I'll never get out of this world alive. Uh, <laughs> Cheerful just, tunes, like, right? Very. He yeah. wasn't. He wasn't known for mm -hmm. being the happiest yeah. guy. No, but cool. he had. He had his reasons. <laughs> yeah. yeah, as we do. <laughs> <laughs> this is the great Captain Beefheart, also known as Don Van Vliet. Uh, I, I really admire his voice. He had the whole package, you know, his voice. He was really influenced, you can tell, by Howlin' Wolf, who's a, okay. an old blues guy from Chicago. But, you know, he had his own spin on it, and he, and, this, and he was also an amazing songwriter. He pretty much was one of the originators of the whole psychedelia. Um, just, he was just such a weird guy in, <laughs> in himself. He looks like he's looking for something, he, like, deeply. He was a um, very mysterious guy. He also was an amazing painter. He, ah. and, he, and he actually uh, gained a lot of notoriety for that after That's play, cool. in his later years. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The next guy, Leonard Cohen. Yeah, that's him. Uh, he has written so many um, amazing songs. He he started out as a, a poet, he, he was a published poet. He moved to, the, to New York in the 60s and actually, I think he didn't become a musician until he was in his like late 30s or something. That's interesting. Um, and actually, he's not you know conventionally considered a good singer, but he's also one of my favorite a good, singers. A good singer, yeah, yeah. He's amazing. He's actually okay. still performing, too. Nice. I haven't seen him, but I really want to. <laughs> what's, your, what's your favorite uh, Leonard Cohen song? It's a song called Hallelujah that is really probably one of his best-known right, songs. Right. What else? Uh, Dance Me to the End of Love is another one. He's had a really long career, so 
cool. You can't really. Yeah, it's hard to pinpoint. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks so much, Willie, for for coming in, playing music. Thanks for having me. For us and talking with us with us at length. For more info on Willie, uh, if you want to hear some of his music or grab his album, you can check out WillieGantrum.com. Willie with a Y. Willie with a Y. Yeah. <laughs>